As we do progress for our democracy, a class of the call for economic growth and development can go top the rule of law and well functioning legislative arm of government. At the state governor Godwin Obaseki talked this one when he received the newly inaugurated legislators for Government House Benin City. Obaseki can congratulate the newly inaugurated Edo State House of Assembly members and can call on them to join body to run smooth executive legislative collabo so that they go fit sustain the gains we administration don't record across all sectors for the state for the past six years. A constant congratulate right honorable blessing and Webaku and Maria Omozele Edeko Esquire where them to become the speaker and deputy speaker of the house respectively. I want to start by expressing my congratulations, and I'm sure that of Edo people, to the newly inaugurated members of the Edo State the House of Assembly, the Eighth Assembly. We want to congratulate you and thank God for the success of the inauguration process today. This day is a culmination of a lot of activities, excitement that started when I put out the election timetable many months ago. I'm so glad that we now have a full house with its full complement of 24 members and a very inclusive House of Assembly where there's representation across the entire spectrum of the states. I'm also excited at the demographics of the house because it reflects the demographics of the states. It also reflects the diversity in our states. And that is what makes Edo unique as a state. We are like a mini Nigeria. One ethnic group, but with its own vagaries and diversities. And we have to respect that uh, as a core and ensure that in everything we do, we reflect our essence. The governor contacts in their glasses the legislators they come now to come help them for the journey where he starts six and a half years ago and that journey now the journey of reforms. A constant talk said them go live bring the legislators closer so them go feel work together to impart and change the lives of Edo people. And say as a government they don't do check check for all the finishing projects and them go carry the legislators along to help the administration finish well. I am so glad you are coming at this time to help me and the journey we started about six and a half years ago, a journey of reforms. I want to thank most profusely members of the Seventh Assembly. There are three of you in the Eighth Assembly. But we must not forget that the Seventh Assembly was a historic assembly. History from many perspectives. And when the history is written, it will, sh it will show clearly that the, the Edo State House, um, Seventh House of Assembly, was a watershed House of Assembly in the political annals of our country. Also, legislatively, the world will see that the work these members put in in transforming our laws, in helping the executive with the appropriate and timely legislation to do their work is historic. So, what the Seventh Assembly 
could do or did, I'm sure the Eighth Assembly will do much better. It's become very obvious as we progress in a democracy that core to economic growth, core to development, is the rule of law, is a well-functioning legislative arm of government. Because business is thriving in the world today. There's safety, there's security, there's stability. Because we have people who are putting out laws to regulate the way we behave, regulate our conduct, regulate how we transact and do business in the state. And that culture is beginning to seep in. And I'm sure that you will join us in consolidating that culture of having a democracy that is run on the principles of popular participation and representation to bring about the kind of legislation we need to regulate our lives. You are also inherited a brand new House of Assembly. I'm sure you like what our chambers look like. And we'd like yours to look like ours if it already is not. <laughs> so we'll be, we are very uh, particular about the work environment, the infrastructure to work with, so that you can be efficient and enjoy doing the work you do. So your infrastructure, your work environment is something that's of concern to us and it's of priority. And we'd like to work with you, both your residential and also official workspace. And also working tools will let you in know the sort of reforms we have undertaken as the executive to improve efficiency in all the things we do, whether it's logistics, transportation, digitization of our processes, all of that we would like to work with you to help you improve. Your, your your own systems and processes. Because all three arms of government need to work or improve Paripasu at the same level. It doesn't help if we are gone digital and you are still analog. There'll be brief in transmission. We also we like to bring you closer so, so that your functions don't stop with legislation and oversight. We want you to also understand impacts. So yes, you oversight, but let's also see working together how the uh, legislations and how we have spent resources have impacted and changed the lives of our people. So it's one area we would like to work with you Hate assembly. I know it's a courtesy call, but before you came, I was reviewing what I would call our finishing project. This is the project that will that's finishing it all for us. <laughs> and I thought, you know, let me just take the opportunity of having my vendors here to just make a three to five minute presentation to you because it, it will affect what I mean how you work now and into the future. On top of connecting fiber around the 18 local government areas, Obaseki Kontok say every local government is connected. We in the executive today have developed our own um, digital services where like I said, I'll be the last governor to work on files manually. All the local government offices are linked. We are, this project is going to link all our schools 
so that from the classrooms, particularly we started with the secondary schools, children don't have to buy books with their digital device. They can, you know, all their books are loaded, they have school exams, everything is done to it be cheaper for us long term. All our primary health care centers are named so that the patient records, all the things we are doing on the patients, we see in the back end. We want to increase, because we can't get doctors everywhere every day, every time. So the, we're increasing telemedicine participation in what we do, job centers, training centers, because we've gone around and this is where the world is going, to deliver services to our citizens at their, 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 their place of residence. Um, I believe that it is going to be most useful for members. And it is one project we would like members to work and take it on its, and its own what is your space. There's so much more to it that I'll be discussing with you over the next several months. But this is the future. Um, nobody's there yet. We've just done a few Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi in a few locations. But the entire state, because we are the state in Nigeria with the most digital penetration, with you know, one of the highest use of social media. So we are getting ready for the future. In fact, we are almost well there. So on that note, I want to thank you very much for coming. I want to thank you for this honor and to assure you that for us, it's about one Edo and one Nigeria to make sure that we create an environment where each one of us and the people we represent are able to live life to its fullest. The Speaker Edo State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Blessing Agweba, who contrary salute, give the Governor for your administration developmental strides across all sectors of the state and come assure the Governor of the support and collab of the new legislators and say the legislators they here to move Edo State forward and make your administration finish well. We are here to pay you Corsico. And I want to let you know that the inauguration was rank of free, irrespective of the party divide. And I want to also assure my colleague that the position of a speaker is not my own. I'm holding a trust for you. It's you that will decide what we will do. So I'm just a servant to you people. Excellency, we are here today to thank you. The relative, the relative peace we got in the chambers today, I know your hand was inside that peace. That was why the peace happened today. Uh, I've taken time to discuss with my members who are from the other divides. I listen to them. Excellency, they have said good things about you. They know that you are working. So, and they are ready to work with you. That I can assure you. This eighth assembly, we are ready to work with you to form a very concrete and solid synergy with the executive and government to make sure that all you've started, we see them, those that have eyes, they see it, those that don't, doesn't hear, if those that have eyes that are discussing it, those that doesn't hear, they listen to. So I want to thank you, Your Excellency. We are here to give you our solidarity. We are here to move Edo State forward. We are here to make you finish well. And by the grace of God, you must finish well. From Government House Benin City, Ekata Ojisele, TMC TV News.